take a look at these really cool print made ornaments that I found and that's the inspiration for our project as we begin today so beginning with this project I really think it's important to start out with a sketch you know plan out begin with the end in mind of what kind of an ornament design that you would like to create now the other thing that I'm thinking about in this project is printmaking. I want you to be aware that whatever image that you make, the image will be backwards when it prints. I mean, you are essentially making a stamp, a design that is gonna be repeated in a backwards fashion. So I would stay away from uh, writing out letters or words because um, it's really challenging to make that go backwards. The other thing that I wanted to talk to you about today is um, I want you, once you have your design or plan or sketch of whatever you want, I want you to take a little bit of time and start filling in or shading in some areas that you will be doing to your ornament as well. These shaded in areas are going to be areas that allow more of the paper to show through. So even though you might change your idea from your sketch, this is still a plan, it's an idea, and you'll have a basic idea of what it's going to look like by the time that it's done. So as I'm shading in with pencil, okay, I'm in my head, I'm thinking, these are areas that show the color of the paper. When you think back of those first two images that we saw, that would allow your design to show up the best. So that's going to allow you to not just see, oh, it's all red ornament, or oh, it's all green ornament. Those are the designs that you would like for people to be able to see the color of the paper. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about putting it into your styrofoam. Styrofoam is a lot harder to draw into than paper is. And so I zoomed close so that you guys could see, you know, the process that I'm beginning to do as I start working on this, this assignment. So um, looking at my sketch, I am starting in with the design that I created and I'm just going to go ahead and start shading it in right away. Again, this is going to provide a lot of interest into my project as I begin working on it. So um, you'll also notice that when I'm drawing in it, I am trying very hard to make sure that the lines that I draw into, sometimes I go over the pencil lines a couple of times. So like right here, watch this. I'm going over this pencil line three, four, maybe even five times because when I print, I wanna make sure that the ink does not fill up my pencil line area that I'm drawing right now. I want to create um, an area that you can see the design once I do my print. So going over those those lines a couple of times is super important. Um, now your goal is not to go all the way through, but if it does, please don't worry so much about that because um, it's as long as your project isn't falling apart, uh, it, it'll make a good print. So please do not be concerned if your pencil goes all the way through the styrofoam and you have a hole in it. That's not a big deal. Uh, that'll still make a good print. So please don't be too concerned about that. We can always fix it by putting some tape on the back if you want to. But what is important is that your lines are gonna be deep enough so that the ink doesn't fill it all up with just ink and then you don't get a very nice print. So. I really wanted to, to talk to you about that today, taking your time and putting your lines and designs in there. I went ahead and wanted to show you what it looked like by the time that I was all finished putting my designs into my project. I really like the way that it shows a lot of contrast between areas that will have ink on it and areas that will still show the paper design. Loved it. Thanks everyone. Let's go on to making the print now. Okay, now that I have my print designed, I'm going to go ahead and start talking to you about how to use a brayer and the ink. Once the ink is on, this is what you don't want to have happen. Don't take your, you gotta, you gotta roll it into the ink really well that it goes all the way around your brayer. So completely from the whole circle, go make, make a few strips into your ink so that it completely covers your brayer, kind of like this. Now that you've got ink going all the way around the um, the brayer, go ahead and start taking it and putting it onto your print or your styrofoam um, print plate. As you can see, when you put your ink on it, you're not um, getting the whole thing completely covered with just green. It'll have some areas that'll have white. The areas that you press down with your pencil are the areas that'll print where you won't get any ink on it so that you can see the design and pattern. 
Okay, so now that you have your um, print plate with ink on it, place it onto the piece of paper that you want to make your first print. I like to take a towel because sometimes your ink is going to ooze out or you'll end up getting ink on the back side of your print plate. So I like to rub it with a, a towel on the back side so that it's not spreading the ink all over the place. It's almost kind of cleaning it up a little bit. So gently and slowly. Notice one hand is holding the print so it's not going to rub all over the place and smear my print. Once I've pressed down on the outside edges, lift up your print plate and there's your image. It is such a pretty cool design. Now that I've got my image on once, I'm just gonna reapply more ink. You do not need to wash out your ink off of your tray or don't, don't do any cleanup at all. Just go ahead and take your print and place it onto your paper once more. Place it down. Take your towel and again, gently focus on the edges. A lot of times students make a great print in the center, but they forget about the edges. So really focus in on those edges of your ornament um, or your tag or whatever it is that you want to use these for. There's multiple purposes that you can use, but you really want to rub on the edges to make sure that the ink gets placed onto the edges. Voila, there it is again. This is so much fun. I love doing this because you're, you're getting some really fun prints that you can use for multiple purposes. Um, okay, last time I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more ink this time, br putting the brayer into the ink, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put the ink onto the styrofoam print plate now. Once I've got another nice even coverage of ink onto my styrofoam plate, I'm gonna go ahead and place it onto the paper a third time. Now that I've placed this on, do the same steps once more. Can you see how some of the ink got onto the back side of my, of my tray or my print plate? It did. So I'm just that towel does a really nice job of not only creating a nice um, solid um, print on the on your project, but it also kind of cleans up the extra ink that might be onto your project when you were making your print. Okay, one hand's going to hold it really tightly. So it's not smearing all over while the other hand does the rubbing and then peel it off. Love these prints. They are so much fun and they look amazing. I'm going to place that aside and now we're going to go ahead and speed it up so that you guys can see it. The same process with another color. Same thing with red. Put your ink on there. Nice, nice and even. And even after I washed it, you'll see some specks of green. Don't worry about it. But again, just doing some of the same steps that you saw in the first step. Second print with my red. And lastly, here's my third print with red. Okay, now that you've got um, a moment that the red is drying, go back to your green for a moment and you can cut off the extra paper that you do not need. I love this project, it's so much fun. Okay, and after I go ahead and go around each of my um, ornaments that I've cut out. I was thinking these look pretty great by themselves, but if you wanted to add a little bit more interest with another um, art material, I took some oil pastels and I thought wouldn't it be fun to have maybe a little bit of white or perhaps a little bit of red into my project as well, just to create a little bit more interest in the colors that I use into this assignment. Don't spend a lot of time on this. Um, I really like the idea of seeing your prints that you made with the ink. And again, this is an optional step. You do not have to do it. It's just something I thought it might be kind of fun if you want to take a look at what a little bit of oil pastel might do onto your assignment as well. Um, I know Paul had fun decorating and designing some of these too, so he wanted to say hi. Have fun everybody. I hope you have a great time.